Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of Rumbling Wrestling. My name is Jan Jaap Abink, uh, reporting for GTA Sports Studio and GTA Live Tube. Alright, thank you for joining into our show. Uh, we're going to do an, uh, a prediction show for uh, the Great Balls of Fire. Um, okay, we start off with the kickoff matchup. Neville versus... Um, Akira Tozawa. Um, normally, I would say that the that Neville will retain, but if he will do so, there is no competition. Maybe he will, will win the first match, and then there will be a, a second match, so on SummerSlam, and then Tozawa will go over somehow, um, because there is no other competition anymore to build up for Neville. Uh, he almost had all the top of uh, two or five lines, I think, at the moment. So, um, so I've, 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 I'll say the Neville will return this time, though, but in the return match, somewhere on SummerSlam or something, then he will lose the title. Enzo, uh, and they're going to make card Enzo Amora versus Big Cash. I'll say Big Cash will win. I mean, you know. Uh, the size of it and everything. I, I don't see that quickly happening, but anyway. Um, uh, then the WWE Intercontinental Championship match. Um, the Miss versus Dean Ambrose for the 6,000th time. Um, I think the Miz will retain, um, and then he will move on uh, to a new opponent. Um, maybe, maybe Bray Wyatt, because then if the Miz arrives, then and then it's finally then maybe uh, Bo Dallas steps the Miz in the back and joins forces with Bray Wyatt. Uh, that that could be interesting. Um, but I think the miss here will retain. Uh, I'm tired of this feud. We've seen this match 10,000 times now. It, it's done and dusted. I know there's probably not much to do for Dean Ambrose after that. That's the whole problem. But we'll, we'll take it from there. Uh, then the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship match. Uh, f uh, 30 minutes Iron Man match. Um, yeah, Sheamus versus the Hardys. Now the problem here is, uh, if the Hardys will lose, then it's done and dusted with this feud, and I think so, rightly so. The problem lays, the problem is laying that there are no baby uh, ba babyface tag teams anymore. Th there's no. Huh? Before we had uh, the Golden Truth, that death feuding, Enzo and Amora, uh, Enzo and Big Cass also broke up and feuding. Um, I really don't where, know where to go with this, actually. I, I'll be honest. Uh, there has to be something done about it, because, yeah, uh, I don't know where WWE has spent, but this is not healthy any further. So, I see the, ma the, the Hardys going to be, uh, win this match, and then, on SummerSlam, uh, for the tag team titles, they will lose and then they break up and they go on so feuding with each other. I think then in somehow the WWE can do something about the baby, fee, baby face teams because this is a major issue on Raw. Um, Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt. Well, Seth Rollins, I think, will win due to he's on the cover for uh, WWE 2000, uh, 2K, uh, 2K18. Uh, but that said, I think he will get a push, uh, maybe some title shots in the near future. And uh, yeah, um, not all due to this computer game. Um, then for the WWE Raw Women's uh, title match, Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks. Now here's the problem I have. You all know I'm a great supporter of Sasha Banks. I think she's the best female wrestler on, on Raw. Uh, but Alexa Bliss is also a great bloody heel. 
she knows how to talk it. Yes, you can say this is your live section, but I think that was not blame. I think that is more the booking for, uh, who screwed that up and actually not Alexa Bliss. Um, I would love to see Sasha Banks win this shoot. Um, so going on the title. Could be nice, could actually be nice. And, um, but the problem here is, I think, is that I think that will first happen on SummerSlam and not here on uh, Great Balls of Fire. So I think somehow a creepy win or somebody gets involved. Um, maybe if uh, Nia Jax I can see interfering. Uh, and then due to disqualification, Alexa Bliss wins. Okay, I have that one standing double. That's not smart. Okay, I'm going to change that. Yes, there's a mistake on our side, guys. Ooh. Nevo and uh, uh, Akira Tozawa have to fight twice. Okay. Anyway, and then the ambulance match. Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. We all know that probably it looks like that Roman Reigns is going, uh, going to fight for the title of SummerSlam. Then you need also to book him strong. Then he actually, can you say he will win this match? How I also think it's bloody annoying. Really annoying. I'm not hoping for it. Uh, I hope that Roman Reigns will lose. I'm tired of him. I'm exhausted of him. Uh, I have nothing to say anything good about Roman Reigns. And that's, yes, maybe, I, I know it's partly of the booking. I know that WWE has pushed them too much and pushed them down our throats. And then you can't blame Roman Reigns for it. But there is something. I, I really don't like the guy. You know what I mean? I think he is an... Uh, say that a rock wannabe is that is that something wrong to say um or a, a crossing between the rock and, and stone cold steve austin but that he talks less you know what i'm getting at he is more an ass kicker that he can definitely do but I, i'm tired of him i'm really exhausted and tired of him and he says he has a good it goes well with him well i don't know where what for what um, and then, so I think that Roman Reigns will go over just in spite that he will fight for the title on SummerSlam. Then for the Universal title match. Now here's the thing, here's the thing, and this is difficult to say. I would say in first suggestion, Brock Lesnar will win, retain the title. However, what I'm sitting with, with Roman Reigns, is fighting for the title. And due to it's rumored that Brock Lesnar will fight uh, Roman Reigns or WrestleMania. So I don't think they're going to book that for SummerSlam. Now here's of course the fact that I'm wrong that uh, Braun Strowman will win and he goes on to the, you know, uh, to the title match. However, you know, uh, it has been spoken out with that thing, and now, uh, what is it called? Yeah. <laughs> sure, well, that, um, um, Kurt Angle has not been said about it, uh, so it's probably approved. Yeah. I don't know what the status is. So, um, yeah, that means that, so there can be that, uh, um, Samoa so Joe could win the title. Could easily be, and that for a certain time that Brock Lesnar win it back. I don't know how how you're going to do this. The case is what we have to not forget is about that. You know, it's not never been said that Roman Reigns will win the SummerSlam. That's never been said. You know what I mean, and that I keep in mind. So, yeah. Um, although I think, you know, I don't see, here's the thing, I don't see Brock Lesnar lose on a B-pay-per-view either. 
it, it really conflicts me, the crappers out of me, to be quite honest. And, and I don't, you know, I've been going forward and backwards. And I will go with Brock Lesnar. I'm really looking forward to the match. I don't hope it's a squash match. I really, I don't think so either. Uh, the the build-up to this match has been phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. I, I've been really, you know, these were one of the parts that from Raw I really liked. Um, so I will go... Yeah, th this is so difficult. Um... I, I will go with Brock Lesnar, but I have a feeling something says me that Brock Lesnar won't fight Roman Reigns on SummerSlam. And I don't know how we're going to book that out. So, uh, technically, if, if it's really fine for the title, yeah, then that means that probably Samoa Joe is going to fight Bro uh, Roman Reigns on SummerSlam. But it's also rumored that John Cena is willing to fight Roman Reigns. I remember what he said on, uh, 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 on SmackDown yesterday evening. And he really laid the tone on Roman Reigns as last and really puts it out. So, I really don't know. It could be that Roman Reigns even loses. And they say, Kurt Collins will say, yeah, you, I'm not going to give you a title shot because you lost. But that, that is my fault. Um... So, okay, well, anyway, this is my predictions, um, I will keep it with Brock Lesnar, yeah, I will go with Brock Lesnar, um, anyway, thank you so much for joining in, my name is Jan Jaap Abing, reporting for GDA Sports Studio. Um, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Facebook went yes, uh, our Facebook site went yesterday over 500 likes. So please keep the likes coming in. We're already over 500 on we're on the way to 1,000. And remember this: the number 1,000 is uh, getting a free GGA Sports Studio T-shirt. So really important. So 500 to go, and number 1,000 gets this T-shirt for free, sent home by us. Um, so here you go. So, um, and it's also, I'm also asking you nicely, please inform your friends about our Facebook page. Invite them if you're already a member. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, very important. But also important, you can follow us on Twitter on, at GGA Sports Studio. Um, here on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. You, uh, GGA uh, on youtube.com backslash GGA live tube. Um, also, I have to think, don't forget to um, um, uh, to uh, follow us on Google Plus. I'm totally gone of it, you know. Plus GTA Live Tube, and we're also on Pinterest, pinterest.com backslash GTA Live Tube. All right, thank you so much, and uh, I'm looking forward to the um, uh, Paul's pay per view match. Let me know, let me know, put it in the comment box on this video. Who, what are your predictions for um, uh, the Great Balls of Fire pay per view? And let me know if you're looking forward to the pay-per-view. I am. Actually, I am. Since months, I've been looking forward to finally to a pay-per-view again. I am on Sunday. I will be sitting in front of the um, television. I'm looking forward. After, and don't forget, don't forget to tune in on uh, after our, the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view to... Uh, on our YouTube channel, there we're going to do the aftermath of Great Balls of Fire, and then we're going to see and talk about the, the pay-per-view, if it was really good or something else. All right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like uh, this video. Don't forget to share it. Don't forget to uh, put it over your social media. 
uh, send it to your friends, to your lovers, to your family, to your boss, to your colleagues, whoever you want to send it to, to your dog, if he's watching wrestling, you never know, uh, or to your cat, could be, uh, but very important, don't forget to share this, you know, video, and uh, I'll see you with wrestling at least, yeah, on Saturday, Sunday, uh, uh, Sunday to Monday night, and otherwise I will see you uh, next Wednesday with a new episode of Rumbling Wrestling. Take care, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new episode of The Pitch. Take care. Ciao.